in this video i will show you eight most underrated tools on pixel lab app and i think the reason why we underrate these tools is probably because we do not know how to use them or because we do not create designs that require them but whatever the case is i will show you the tools in this video and i will also show you how to use them so that you'll be informed and maybe you might even find any of them useful for your next design projects on pixel app right so the the tools are simply this right the tools are here i'm talking about these tools because you know if you are new to this channel and maybe you do not know about pixel lab just check the channel um i actually drop tutorials already on every of these every of these other tools right here yeah, right so but then in this video we are just going to focus on just this now how do we use these tools now let me ask you have you ever used any of these tools before or do you use any of these tools frequently just let me know in the comment section yes do that right away because i want to know that i am not the only one on this table because i actually cannot remember the last time i used any of these tools in my design and that is because i do not just consider them useful for my designs right but then let me know if you use any of these tools in the comment section now this is the rotate tool this is the vignette this is noise this is stripes this is brightness this is contrast this is you you right this is you this is um saturation i will show you how everything uh, are relevant to the design now there's no design here right now and i do not want to start creating any design in this video so let me just take you to um any of my any of my past designs right let me just take you to any of my past designs so that i can show you using the design right now this is a design i created some times ago just recently um for one of my youtube videos if you've not seen it by the way just check the channel um it's about background manipulation it is going to greatly help you right but then that's by the way now let's come to these two this is rotate this is vignette now let's see what rotate is going to do can you see can you see what's happening now the reason why you are not seeing the reason why all of these stuffs here are not moving is because like these are layers right these are look if you look at them they are layers that are on it right now these two majorly control the background yeah let me just uh, make you understand that these two majorly control the background and that is why this thing is rotating right but then you can't see it now so that you are going to uh, be able to see what is happening let me let's create another layer uh, another um, project then let me import from gallery let me import an image or something from gallery right so let me import this for example let me import this from gallery and um yeah let me just move this here yeah let's jump like this mark it now look at this is something right now where does this to now come in look at it look at rotate can you see what's happening can you see what's happening so this this is what this rotate feature is for it is for rotating the background like the the old um interface anyways it's going to ro uh, rotate the old workspace the only thing is that if there are layers the layers are not going to move if there are layers on it they are not going to be rotated but it's going to affect the background that's by the way so let's get back now this vignette this vignette affect the old design it does not affect only the background and let me show you um let me show you what i mean right if i use the vignette here if i enable it can you see what's happening this is what vignette is can you see what's happening around the design right and you can adjust this you can also change the color you can pick whatever color you want can you see you can pick whatever color you want whatever color you want right now let me pick let me leave it at this this for example and then here you can also adjust the opacity this alpha means opacity so you can adjust the opacity of the vignette you can reduce it to as low as 30 and you can increase it to as high as 255 now let me show you with um this right let me show you with this design let's wait for it all right so now come here and let's see vignette you are going to see that vignette is going to affect not just the background but it's going to affect everything and this is it 
can you see can you see that this time around the rig node actually reflect on all the design so if i tap on this let's say i use this for example then you can reduce the opacity you can increase the opacity you can reduce it you can increase it depending on your choice but then that is what this weakness is about now let's go to this one noise now if i use this noise there's every possibility you may not see what is happening again can you see you are not seeing what is happening it is simply because it is like this first um one that will not affect the layers right and i feel like personally this is why i do not i do not see the usefulness of many of them why because um they only affect the background and of course in my designs i use layers very well right i mean i, I use um overlays right overlay and all of those stuff and so there's no point choosing them that is personally for me right but then for this noise let's see how useful it can be let me see if i have any design let me see if i have any design all right let's check out this okay Alright, let's check out this design. Yeah, this was for one of my thumbnails. Now let's see if that noise is going to be visible here. Alright, the noise is actually visible, but you still can't see it, right? Because there are um there are images, yeah. So what we are going to do is that just like that first one, we are going to create another um new layer, and then I'm going to change the color of the background so that I can see what's happening. I will change it to this right i'll change to this now let's come here and let's go to noise can you see what's happening let me zoom in so i can see right look at it can you see the noise let me turn it off and look at it look at the noise look at before look after look at before look after and then here too you can reduce you can reduce the opacity to as low as 30 look at before look after or you can increase it can you see you can increase it as to as high as 100 then also you can also adjust it you can enhance it can you see you can enhance it you can make it more greening you can make it less greening it all depends on you can you see all right but it only affects the background right it affects the background maybe the color of the background or if you imported an image as the background so it affects the background when i say import image as background let me show what i mean you come here you, got, you can click on from gallery here and then you can select whatever image let's assume i select this image right i can mark it so this is what we've got now if i come here and i click on rotate can you see i click on rotate i click on rotate i click on rotate Vignette is definitely going to affect it, definitely. Now, noise is also going to affect it. Can you see? Can you see what's happening? So, you can also reduce the um, alpha, um, the opacity. Look at before, look after. You can increase the opacity. Look at that green view. Then, you can also enhance it, right? You can adjust the enhancement. Look at it. So, that is that about the noise. Then, you can also come to stripe now what stripe we did is that it's going to create a stripe just like the um the icon here look at it right now can you see it now the reason why i also do not use this very well many times is that if i use any overlay right that covers the background it is no longer going to be visible right but then here yeah, you can also adjust the the opacity you can reduce it right you can reduce it as low as five then you can also repeat it you can make it big let's assume you want to make it big look at it you can reduce it to two then you can increase it can you see now this one is going to this one can come in very handy especially when you want to when you're working on um a background right when you're working on maybe your background right so i can come here for example and then i can go to this stripe then i can reduce the alpha and just look at it can you see the background then while at this i can decide to now bring in another image and just manipulate the background and just make it look good and all of this stuff right so um that is that about that you can use this on gradient all of this stuff look at it right so that is what stripe is about basically 
um this is it if you want to increase the opacity but then let's turn it off now let's come to the last one brightness oh no not the last one sorry not the last one but then let's come to brightness now let me undo undo yeah this is what i want right so stripe okay so let's come to brightness and let's see what is going to happen yes can you see i'm adjusting the brightness already if i want to reduce the brightness i can reduce it too but then this only affects the background too so this one can also come in really handy especially when you are manipulating your background right for whatever reason you can easily adjust this can you see right so this is reduction of brightness and then you can increase the brightness here too if i come here for example now if i come to this um where is it if i come to this image and i reduce the background okay let's try that let's try that so if i come here and i reduce the brightness you know i said it's only going to affect the background but then let's see how it is. let's see what will happen can you see can you see there is no even showing that anything is happening that's because there are overlays that have covered the background right but then there are some other designs that you are working on that it really can come in handy and help you in manipulating your background for example now if i am um, to um reduce it here you see that it's going to affect it subtly can you see look at that part if i increase it look at it right that is because a part of the background is still showing here most of the overlays i use here i reduce the opacity so the background is still reflecting that's the point now the next thing is contrast if i increase the contrast it's also going to affect the background here because of course most of these layers here that i use on this background are actually transparent now if i if i bring in that image again that our image um from gallery and i click on this and i click on mark so if i come here and i click on contrast you see what you happen just the normal thing that happens when you use contrast can you see this is it right this is it normal one and then you can adjust the contrast it affects the background now for you you has to do with changing of color right if you increase or reduce the hue what that does is that it changes the color it changes the color let me show you what is happening if i reduce it can you see can you see the color the colors are um if i increase this now see what we have here if i reduce it the colors are changing so that is what e is about just like the hue you, you know is you is just changing of color right it also applies to whether you are using the hue that is here right let's assume when you are working with shape or um when you import any new shape also you can also there's under this um color filters here there's also you look at this here you can also adjust the color so that is what you is for basically you is for adjusting the colors so um that is that about that the next thing the next thing we've got here is saturation and that is the last underrated tool on pixel lab right i mean among all of these eight tools saturation just like the normal saturation if you have been following my videos you realize that i actually use saturation sometimes when i'm editing video um when i'm editing photos maybe in lightroom maybe in uh, snapseed so saturation is not a new word now under saturation here you can also reduce the saturation look at what we've got when we reduce the saturation or this is when you are reducing it from zero you are desaturating it when you are increasing it you are saturating it right when you are reducing it you are like this now this image has been desaturated but then when you're increasing it you are saturating it and this is what we've got so you can easily adjust it but again this only affect the background and i feel like from everything i've shared i think the, the major reason why many of us right don't use these tools often is because they only affect the background they do not affect the layers that are on the background and i feel like well i feel like it's actually nice so that you can because those layers that you are bringing it are editable on their own you can adjust the colors from the color filters and any of those um choose there 
and um but then i don't know what do you think let me know in the comment section for me i feel like the reason why we don't use them often is because they only affect the background so there is no use for them technically because you can manipulate your background in your own way now speaking about background manipulation i've got videos on the channel around background manipulation if you want to understand more about background manipulation just check the channel i have like two major videos around background manipulation thank you for watching don't forget to drop a like so that uh, youtube can show this video to more persons and don't forget to also hit the subscribe button if you are new to this channel i've got an amazing video coming up and i hope you don't miss it i will see you in the next one